All right, people, what is up and welcome back. I hope y'all can hear me here. It is currently uh, about 5.30 in the morning. We are in Bay City right now, and in just a minute, we're about to hop in the car and head down to Matagorda to take the short little drive, because we have a trip. I forgot to hit the button for the elevator. Bingo. But, because we booked a trip with a guy down there, going out in the Bay. Uh, it's been raining all week, so we'll see. It's supposed to be a little windy, but I think we'll get on him. So stay tuned, let's find out.
right guys so we are actually back at the house right now i know i didn't record much today but it's because it was super windy and uh you know you just couldn't hear anything um i did use the gopro and record a little bit of fishing but it was a pretty good day we didn't end up with a lot of fish only end up with three fish in the box two redfish and a trout or no wait two trout and a redfish but we definitely caught like seven or eight redfish mostly undersized except for that one of course and then probably about four or five trout no probably more but mostly undersized same thing and then actually we did keep i'm gonna show y'all right now and i'm recording on the gopro right now by the way everything on the gopro so i hope the audio is good but we did keep two croaker and we're gonna see how they taste because everyone says croaker is good these aren't crazy big but i think they'll be good enough so i'm gonna set this camera up and uh show y'all what's going on boom gross one slimy croaker and then another slimy croaker and they're already gutted so all i'm going to do to these is we're actually going to cook them whole so i'm going to scale them and then leave the heads on you know pull the gills out and uh yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna get that done i'm just gonna use a spoon rub it up against them this way against the scales they're all gonna pop off and we'll see you on the kitchen All right, so we got our two croaker right here, cleaned up nice and well, check it out. Absolutely nothing left on the inside, gills out and all. Looks pretty good. So, and then right here we have one redfish filet. It was a big redfish, 27 inches. So this is plenty for all of us. And then we got some shrimp that we're gonna cook up like some lemon butter shrimp and then put over the redfish or just eat by itself, whatever you want. But right now we're gonna take these croaker and we're gonna score them up to go on the grill. So all we're gonna do, make some lines going down it. I'm going to score it pretty deep. This is going to help this fish cook quicker and let our seasoning get in there. And I've never done a whole fish like this with the head. I did a whole flounder, and if y'all seen that video, it turned out pretty well. But it had no head, and we fried it. But these are going to go in the grill. So anyway, we scored that. We could cut it across if we want. I might. I don't know yet. But flip it over. Same thing on the other side. Down the backbone with it. Looks pretty good to me. All right, on to the next. But yeah, these are gonna be going on the grill. Throw some lemon on them. Onion maybe, I don't know. Like I said, never done this before, just coming up with it as I go, like usual. But it should turn out pretty well. So, there we go on that, nice and scored up. Make another cut down here. Uh, we might make a few X's just for fun. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, so we got our fish all ready right here if y'all wanna take a look at that. All I did was put some avocado oil on it and then I threw some kosher salt. And on the inside we have lemon, of course, and then that is a red bell pepper and then some green onions. So it looks amazing. It looks really uh, tropical to me. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but it sure is gonna look good. So we're about to go throw these on the grill and we'll see y'all out there. All right, we're gonna throw our fish on here. Look how good it looks. We're just gonna go right over here, off to the side of the coals, because as you can hear, that is crazy hot. Listen to that sizzle. Right there. I don't think it's gonna take long. We got our tongs right here to flip them with. Wham, bam. So we're gonna let those cook, um, and then probably a couple minutes, three minutes on this side, and then we'll flip them over, and we will be ready to eat. All right, so we're ready to flip over here. Grab it with the big old tongs. Bam! Ooh, that looks good. It might have went, we might have uh, needed like another 30 seconds on that. So I think we'll wait on this one. But it is definitely looking good. All right, we're going to close it back down and give it another minute. All right, about to flip these fish, as you can see. Bam! Moved them over the fire a little bit more. Oh, that looks good. All right, and this one we already flipped, but we'll check them out. No, we'll leave it. It's good. So we probably got about four or five minutes, and then we are ready to eat. But now that we have them flipped, we can lay our lemon on them. The lemon kind of fell out of that one, but that's okay. Mm. 
Mm, something like that. It grows really hot. And then we'll also lay some bell pepper over it just to give it color. And that right there looks awesome. Let's let them finish cooking and then we'll tell you how they taste. All right, so we're gonna take our fish off. And don't worry, by the way, this is the same pan we used earlier, but we washed it, so we're all good. Um, might get a little sloppy here. Just gonna try to peel it off. It's sticking. So I think we're gonna lose some of it. Oh, we're falling apart. It's okay, as long as we get some fish. There it is. Whole fish right there. We kind of lost half our fish on the other one because I wasn't using the spatula, but we can pull it off, throw it on there, grab all these lemons. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. Let's try this out. All right, so our other fish got messed up over here a little bit, but this one still looks pretty good. Check that out. Looks awesome. And then we have, uh, what is this? Lemon butter shrimp, something like that. And what I'm gonna do with that, take the juice and pour that over our pieces of redfish that I'm gonna show y'all in a little bit. But this is the main thing right here, the awesome fish. All right, so I got my piece of redfish right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this butter, just like this. So we're gonna take a little bit of it, pour that nice sauce right over it. Ooh, and take a little bit of those shrimp. Put a few pieces of shrimp on it, and look how good that looks. All right, so we got this right here with the shrimp, redfish with the shrimp. Then we have shrimp salad right there. And then we have our fish. So we're gonna sit down and uh, we'll give you all a review on how it tastes. All right, so I already started eating this, but I'm gonna give you all the review on the croaker right here. So it's kind of neat, because this is, a lot of people consider this a trash fish. But you know, if you go to the dike uh, early fall, you'll see people lined up, hundreds of people, well, maybe not hundreds, but a hundred people, just catching big old bull croaker like crazy and throwing them in a bucket. So anyways, we're gonna try this out right here. Take our fork, pull a little bit off. Ooh, it looks good. Check that out. Let's give it a taste. I mean, tastes great. Doesn't taste like anything bad. All right, so as y'all can tell, we finished those off right there. Now, they were pretty good, but I'd be lying to you if I told you they were the best fish I ever had. They definitely weren't. It's not the fish though, it's just the way we cooked them. Um, it was definitely too lemony. And then the bones on these things are just too small that they were just getting everywhere. Like look how easy these bones just fall off. So a little dangerous right there, but it was good. I definitely do it again with a different type of fish or I just cook this fish in a different way. I'm not putting it aside or I'm not uh, putting croaker down. It's definitely a good fish. Anyways, though, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the first video in like two weeks, so uh, glad to be back. Um, make sure to leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, like always, thank you so much. And until next time, peace.